Catherine, and today I'm going to be covering questions that I get frequently working with clients that pertain to women's health. The first question is, can I lose weight with diet alone? And to answer this, a lot of people just implement a diet and they see fast changes in their weight, which is good. But eventually you're gonna hit a plateau and at that time, you're gonna need to implement some exercise to really take that weight loss journey to the next level. Because to lose weight, you have to be in a caloric deficit, which is using and expending more calories than you're taking in. And that can be done with diet, but as you exercise, you also burn calories. So along with those healthy eating choices you're making, you're gonna burn more calories. And through that exercise, you're gonna gain muscle, it's gonna increase your metabolism. And through that, your body is gonna work much more efficiently and burn more calories at rest than you were previously, helping you reach those weight loss goals. Another question I get frequently is women asking if they're gonna get way too big and bulky if they start weight training. And this is not true. Women don't have the amount of testosterone needed to put on that muscle that they see in commercials and big gym ads. And on a personal note regarding weight training, I've been weight training for a few years trying to put on muscle. And while I've definitely gained strength, it's not very obvious to see, which is good because for me, Exercising shouldn't be a punishment for what you ate. It should be a celebration of what your body can do because being a strong woman is beautiful. Women often ask me what weight should I be using if I choose to do a weight training regimen. This varies on the person quite a bit, but I would recommend of course starting small to make sure you're not going to risk injuring yourself. And as that weight gets easier and easier, adding five more pounds, 10 more pounds as you get comfortable. And the goal should be, as you're doing your weight training, you should be able to comfortably move that weight with good form, but the last couple reps should be kind of difficult to squeak out, but still maintaining good form because you don't want to get hurt. But those last reps should be a little bit difficult, and that's when you know that you're at a good weight. So how should you start exercising? I'd recommend starting slowly, working on things that you've already enjoyed. If you like walking, if you like yoga, if you like tennis, work on that because it's something you like doing anyway. And then as you're more comfortable, try body weight exercises like squats, lunges, push-ups, sit-ups, things along that lane because those are going to be easy to do at home or in the gym. And as you get comfortable with that, add some weight to it, add some dumbbells to it. And using resistance machines is also a very good tool for beginners because they often have instructions posted on the side and the machines typically move in one plane, so it's, it can be easy for beginners to understand how to use the machine, what muscles are being isolated, and how to implement those tools for future exercises. The gym can be intimidating when you first start. You don't wanna do something wrong or try to figure out free weights and resistance machines by yourself. Thankfully, the hardest part of working out is just getting out the door and showing up to the gym. The rest comes naturally. And if you ever need help with a machine or an exercise, a trainer would be happy to help you figure it out and work with you to reach your goals.